today we're going to talk about my must-have items for breastfeeding. Hi, welcome back. I'm Eileen Judd and I am a mom of three kids and I have one more on the way and um, I'm just here to talk about all my favorite items and all the things that I think that every mom should have or at least needs or at least the basic things or something they should consider um, to, to have just for their brand new born baby to start breastfeeding. So here is my list. Number one, breast pump. It's good to have a breast pump on hand um, in case you need you're having issues breastfeeding if you have an injury or murder nipples or whatever that you need to have it for to help pump or if you're going back to work or you're trying to save up a reserve when you go back to work um, a lot of some lactation consultants will give you dirty looks for wanting to save milk up for when you decide to quit breastfeeding at six months but you still want your baby to get breast milk you just want your body back to yourself um, so I got question for that number two um, these uh, are called nipple soft shells um, breastfeeding soft shells they're perfect um, especially if you're your nipples get injured or if they get dried out and cracked because like winter weather will will dry and crack you out and you'll get little injuries on there it helps let your nipples heal and without rubbing and making it worse against your clothing so I highly recommend those especially for newborn moms and stuff because in your nipples are just going to get beat up for first couple months while you and your baby learn how to figure this stuff out. Number three is a breastfeeding bra. I'll link the ones that I found on Amazon below. Um, that you want one that's comfortable like a sports breastfeeding bra so you look like you're supported when you go out and about and a lounge breastfeeding bra so when you're at home or you're sleeping or whatever so your boobs are still supported and not weighing around because when your milk comes in it's heavy you're, you feel like you've gained weight in your chest and then it's not fun so you need to have some sort of comfortable holding on on it plus it makes so on your breast it makes it so much easier to breastfeed especially at night just pull pull the bra down and and latch on to the baby it's easy. Number four, the uh, breastfeeding cover and I highly recommend um, the bomb shelter cover and I'll put a link to that below. Um, a, a lady came out with that and it looks, it's really cool. It covers your back and your front and it's very flowy and it's like one size fits all so even, I'm, I'm a I'm a big person and um, some of the things, baby things, don't fit me and this fits me. Um, old nursing covers, the ones that you hold down, it put like a, it's like a, I don't know, necklace that hangs over you and, and then they have, covers your front and then it has like a hoop so you can look down. Um, if you had, I got church, I have people sitting behind me and I feel like people are seeing everything. Or what would happen is the baby, because once they start moving more, they will knock the blanket off or whatever. And so with this bomb shelter cover, if you want to be modest, and especially when you're at church and stuff, to cover up and be able to breastfeed your baby without anything you don't want showing, showing. Number five, lanolin or Vaseline to help um, cover your skin to help especially if your skin is raw or like paper cuts or whatever it just helps protect your skin so it can heal better um but a fair warning i'm like i'm not gonna lie if you put lanolin on it won't take away any pain away or 
it won't magically work right away it'll take a few days to work and breastfeeding when you're still breastfeeding your baby it does take longer for your injuries to heal so I'm I'm not going to sugarcoat, sugarcoat that for you um my, lastly my biggest one that I keep highly recommending is the breastfeeding bible um, you can get it at your local library, you can buy it used off of eBay, but I highly recommend using the library to try out any breastfeeding books or child rearing books before you go and buy them. That way you can find something you love and then use it um, for the time that you're going to be taking care of children and then you can give it to someone else and they can enjoy it too. And I hope you enjoyed these items. I hope it gives you an idea of what kind of things that you will need for your baby. And until next time, happy mommying. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like so I know what kind of future videos you will want to see. Bye.